In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a company profile. You can see here I have created some colorful company profile and I'm going to show you how to do this in two different way. One is uh, in detail, I'm going to explain how to do this one with using the morph transition and the second option without the morph transition. So let me just show you how this slide looks uh, in morph transition. So this is my first slide company profile. You can add some detailed text here and when I click you can see here the first thing which we're going to talk about who we are and you can add some detailed text and add some images here and then next when i click next then what we do you can see here i'm changing the icons and then a different text i've put it here or any text of your choice you can add it here then the next slide will be our clients so this is my these are my clients and then we are talking about our success stories again you can add some detailed text also and last we are going to talk about contact us and you can add some information so it's a very useful slide for your day-to-day -day presentations and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used Office 2019 version to do this, but I have shown you how to do this uh, without the morph transition also, which you can do it in 2013 or 2010 as well. So let's start the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do this one with the morph transition. First of all, add a new slide, go to insert shapes, and I'm going to select the rectangle. Draw the rectangle covering the whole slide. You can see something like this shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any dark color here, whichever color which you feel better, you can add it. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select five or six rectangles depending on the requirement. So first rectangle goes here. Again, uh, how much width you need, you can just adjust it. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill again i'm going to give some color of my choice so this is my first color press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give the second color you can see here again press ctrl d so this would be my third color you can see here and then press ctrl d i'm going to choose this one and then last one i'm going to choose or maybe this color so i've chosen five different colors you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so this is my very first slide and here i'm going to add my the title or the main headline so go to insert text box i'm just saying here company profile make it white font and choose some font which is bold and visible i'm going to choose arial black you can see here and then increase the size all right and i'm going to place it here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select these uh, rectangles again press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to reduce the size you can see here press ctrl g to group it and reduce it further something like this so i just sorry i just created something like this you can see here and if you like to add some image onto this particular uh, object also you can add it if you don't need you can uh, ignore that one and then here below you can add some detailed text so go to insert text box and i'm going to say equals lorem within brackets one and then i'm going to choose maybe some light gray color reduce the size and then i'm just going to put it here and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so this is my very first slide and what you can do is because we are going to use the morph transition it's better to uh, name the objects here for example so this is my uh, title i'm just going to the home tab go to select selection pane so select this one and then i'm going to rename it and how to rename this one you have to type two times exclamation mark and then give the heading here or the the name of the object so i'm just giving the heading here and this one i'm going to give as a exclamation exclamation maybe detail and this is the group i'm just going to say exclamation exclamation and group all right 
so this will really help us to do our uh, morph transitions in a better way all right so now this is my very first slide let me just close this one now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this and duplicate the slide you can you see here i'm just going to duplicate the slide go to the transitions and i'm going to select the morph transition so because the slides are same nothing happens so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one all right and i'm going to move it up okay and this also i'm going to move it up and later on i can work on this one and before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these five rectangles this is a very important step and go to format and say bring to front all right then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the size you can see here the moment i increase this is i said uh, uh, go to front so this also we need to bring it to front all right otherwise it will hide so let me just increase the size till here and this company profile go to home reduce the size and i'm just saying who we are or any other text and then I'm just going to move it here. This one, I'm going to move it here, something like this. This, I can just bring it here, make it white, increase the size, all right? And if you want to change the image of this one, you can just change it, or what you can do is you can just double or duplicate this one by pressing Control D. You can see here I've duplicated. Select this one, go to Format Shape, under Fill, I'm going to increase the transparency level because when I'm going to insert the image, it should be more transparent, right? So go to picture or texture fill. All right, go to insert. I can just go to online pictures or you can just uh, choose any pictures from your uh, PC also. So let me just choose some uh, background, some books background. For example, I'm just going to choose maybe this image and click insert. And this image has been inserted let me just make it again transparent all right it should be more transparent and then i'm just going to place it here let me just send this to back because this has to be clearly visible all right now let me just show you how it works when i click you can see here it is coming like this all right you can see here it comes something like this and then you can add some icons here go to shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key exactly in the center all right and shape outline make it maybe the same color what we have used here and shape fill maybe you can choose white and go to insert icons you can choose any icons for example i'm going to choose this one and bring it here and shape fill i'm going to choose the same color and if you want to increase the width of this one go to shape outline you can increase the width you can see here something like this and who are we again if you want to add some pictures you can go to insert shapes you can select some rectangles all right press ctrl d i'm just going to add maybe four images here press ctrl d again you can see here and then you can go to insert picture make sure it is not transparent go to insert again you can just go to your background or any images of your choice and i'm just going to insert it you can see here something like this so here also i can just go to picture insert and then i'm going to choose maybe uh, a beach and i'm going to choose some beach here like that you can just insert the images and again make sure that uh, I'm, I'm going to remove the outlines if you want to keep you can keep it also so let me just show you how the slide looks when i click it comes something like this you can see here all right now this is my second slide let me just make one more slide right mouse click duplicate the slide now i'm coming to this one again make sure that this is all first of all i'm just going to select this one all right and go to format make sure to bring to front and again i'm going to select this also all right 
this also I'm going to select and bring to front otherwise what happens is even this also I'm just going to bring it front all right so now I'm just going to select this one and increase the size you can see here maybe the text I have not selected let me just bring to front also all right so this image I can just change it according to my requirement I can just go to insert and online pictures maybe I'm just going to select some celebration images you can see here insert all right and then just increase till here and then this also this two text also and this group also I'm just going to bring to the left and here what you can do is you can just type maybe say our services all right and then again change the icons delete this icon go to insert select the icons of your choice maybe i'm just going to choose uh, some meaningful icon maybe i'm just going to choose this one let me just put it here and graphic fill i'm going to choose the same graphic what we have used in the background this also i'm going to choose the same uh, outline also here all right so you can see here this is very simple and then you can add whatever the text you need just make sure that every time you need to do this bring to front all right so let me just show you from the beginning so this is my first slide who we are and then this is my second slide our services all right now if i want to make one more again select this one duplicate the slide and again make sure that this one this one all right this 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 and all this should be bring to front all right and then i can just simply select this one and i can change this one even this image also you can bring to front also all right so this one let me just increase it till here this image i'm going to change it again as per my requirement maybe some flowers all right so the flower will insert it here and then this image i can just increase till here Maybe something I did not choose, maybe cancel. Let me just select again. And insert. Yeah, you can see here. And then this one also, you can just move it. All right. So if it is not moving properly, you can just move this one. Again, bring to front. And then again, you can adjust it. All right. So I can just move it and then whatever the text you need you can just simply put that one so this is the simplest way you can make the company profile now what if if you are not using the the latest version of powerpoint uh, so how to use the morph transition so uh, there's other uh, workaround also so let me just select this slide press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to take this uh, slide at the bottom you can see here let me just take it here so this is my bottom slide now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate and this particular things again i'm going to bring to front you can see here bring to front and then this one i'm going to increase it till here all right and then let me just move it and then i'll just say send to back so that the lines will be visible yeah so I'm just going to keep it something like this. All right. So you can see here, if I just zoom in, it looks something like this. If I say zoom out. So now I'm going to select this particular uh, rectangle, go to the animations, enable the animation pane, add animation, go to more motion paths. And then I'm going to choose a uh, right, click OK. And then you can just increase it here by holding the shift key till it reaches here all right so if i'm here and when i click 
so it comes something like this you can see here all right so this way you can do also but this is a time consuming uh, process